So the, the last option that I want to show here is also relating what you do in Revit or with uh, GBXML files and what you do in Vasari. It used to be that the way that you could get the data that you needed for your project was that you you pretty much had a finished building. If I, if I use this kind of small example um, on the ground floor here, you can see that inside the building there are two rooms. There's one for the storage room, there's one for the classroom. This is a, this is a 30 by 30 classroom. Um, if I wanted it to be, so, so I, I want it to be analyzed, um, but it's, I don't have a mass the way that I just showed you, and I don't have uh, the, t the, well, I have the option of drafting it in Ecotech, but I want to just take the information that I've got here and bring it into Ecotech. So one thing I want to point out is that under the room area here, area and volume, I can set this to, to calculate both. And I'm telling it to go to the wall centers, which is why I'm seeing the these crosshairs run to the center of the wall. Um, the other thing is that I want to check in the sections that looking at the views, I'm going to go view graphics and I'm going to turn on the display of the rooms, but not just the the rooms, but inside the room, the fill and the reference lines, so that now I can see them. And I, I want to make sure that these uh, rooms extend above the bounding objects so that it fills up the whole space inside. What I've done with that is is made the rooms almost kind of like an inflatable life raft. Right? It, it pumps open to become the same shape and recording on that shape the, uh, the inside of the room, recording windows and doors. And their, and their position within that. I'm now going to switch to a 3D view, which is I'm going to, I've got a one here that I'm calling working 3D. Uh, actually, let me just go to the 3D room so you can see it. And what I want to do is I want to turn off any information that I don't want to export. Um, and, and if I go now to the application menu and I say export, I've got this option. GBXML file, whereas before I was doing the mass, this time I'm doing GBXML file. And that's a little different because here it kind of previews what's happening. I had some additional rooms, an additional room with a space in there. You can see I've got a curtain wall, I had a door, so I'm seeing in blue the outline of the space. But I've got some additional options here. I can say simple, which will just be the blue object itself with just an area of glass. Um, and it will be fast. If I'm wanting to do something like daylighting, I also maybe want the shading surfaces like the roof. And generally, I don't need to go beyond that. If I were to go up to the level where I'm saying complex with mullions and shading, it's actually going to put little surfaces in the project. But that's going to increase the calculation time for not very much gain. There won't be a really significant difference in the the calculations based on the fact that there's a two inch mullion in the, the curtain wall here. So generally, I, I'm going to start with this. And if I need to go more detailed for some reason, then I can import a DXF file that has just the geometry of the building and use that to, to cast any additional shading and, or, and have that factored into the calculations. But generally, I'm trying to keep that as simple as possible. So. If I say save, I'm going to point to my uh, desktop. I'm going to point to the folder. And this one I'm going to call Revit Detailed Model because that's where it's coming from. Now the whole point of showing this is that, I mean, how many people are going to do an energy analysis if, they, if they've actually gotten to the point in the design where they have a finished building? They're not really thinking of making a whole lot of changes. It's my it's much better if they're making those uh, changes early on in the project. So I saved the I saved the file. I'm going to get out. I'll just show you that uh, 
I can bring it into Ecotact. And in here, I'm going to say File, Import, Model Analysis. Point to my folder. I'm looking for XML. That was, uh, I call it Revit Detailed Model. Um, here, it identified walls, roof, floor, because it's a BIM model, it knows what these objects are. There are some rules that it follows. And then I can say open that up and it already knows like what it's what these objects are. And then in here I could do my same uh, analysis. But I'm going to stop at that point because we've, we've seen how you can do an early study uh, with Vasari, how you can take that mass model uh, the X, as an XML file into Ecotect and do it a daylight analysis. Or if you had a finished building, maybe it was an as-built of an existing structure, you can place rooms, make sure they fill up the internal spaces and export from a 3D view the GBXML file that I can also bring into, into Ecotect for further study. So I'm going to stop at that point and... Uh, at a later date, I'll provide some more movies on Ecotect itself.